Sometimes they pay you a thousand bucks to like do nothing. Um, so I, I really want to be famous. Buy some cheap goods. And these goods, now that the villagers aren't terrified anymore, or, or they aren't disappearing, the goods are cheaper. The dudes are, the people here are willing to trade with me better. Um, so this is a pole arm. This is a pole arm and it's better. Oh, I'll pay 700 bucks for it. That, that doesn't really seem like worthwhile, but um, I want to get this guy like, you know, I want to I want to switch him over to the uh, the longer range. Wait, does this apply? Does anyone know? Does this apply if I'm using a a, a pole arm? Because I've already put this perk in. He might if 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 the pole arm if being two tiles away doesn't let you get the bonus for flanking or whatever like this, um, then I won't I won't switch him to pole arms. I'm just gonna wait a moment. I'm gonna let chat respond to that one. Uh, Cause this is hopefully hopefully someone knows that this is what that you know I could be you know messing up my character's build here. Said so I don't want to take polearm mastery if you can't get the the backstabber bonus from two away. Yes, yes it does apply. Like I I can take polearm and dagger or backstabber. These these are fine together. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I will trust you. Um, I just, I just will, you, will you type yes again if this is acceptable to take? If you, if it's, you're pretty sure it's acceptable to take, I just want to make sure I'm understanding what you mean by yes. If, if this combo is decent, probably. Again, like I, you know, if you're wrong, that's fine. I just want to make sure I didn't, you know, get that backwards. Then I mess up. We'll level up this guy while we're waiting. This guy's it, an easier choice. Were you even supposed to be a pole arm guy? Yeah, you were supposed to pole arm, right? How's your, how's your defense without this? Your defense isn't too bad. Just do it. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I might. I think I might. Um, I think this was the guy I wanted to actually switch to pole arm. Because, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even... I, the question's not even important anymore. This man was the pole armor. Um, so, my bad. I asked a question that has, like, no value. Um, I'll take resolve. I'll take the resolve. We need someone to be high resolve anyways, so might as well. Um, and then you can you can take this bad boy. And this weapon's good. We can sell it. It's worth a lot of money. Maybe put it on someone. Who knows? But I'm gonna move you to the back line. And now we can move this axe guy up. He's been he's been in the back forever, kind of doing nothing. Oh, and you also can level still. Oh, yeah, the, the perk. Did I not specialize you? There we go. I think back server for plums and simulate attack. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So this is great. So this is this is good stuff. And then for you, um, I don't really want you to be a polearm guy now. I know I asked, but then I realized you were not meant to be initially. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll do sword mastery with you. And you know what? Actually, you, 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 you have some defensive stats. What if we went? What if we put the uh, the big boy sword on you? What if you were the two-handed sword user? Why not? Why not? You were using a sword either way, so you're you're better with it now. Um, gash, split, and swing. Do we have either of those? No. Does this, does this not affect any of my skills? That's okay. We still get less fatigue for using it. We still get yes, less fatigue for using it. I'm fine with that. Okay, we bought the stuff we wanted here, right? We have food. We have meds. There's no one to hire because it's a tiny little town. Let's skedaddle. Let's skedaddle doodle do. I'll just go over here. No. I don't know. I don't know which one would have, which, which is better to go to first for, for my like trading, you know, route I'm on. I don't know which one's more efficient. That's a cleaver. This sword? It is! Okay. This is not what I would describe as a cleaver. I understand the game is. I'm very thankful you taught me that. I would, If you asked me if this was a cleaver, I would say no. Um, I'm glad to know. Thank you. I was wondering why it had no skills whatsoever. Um, so this has, this has slash and gash. Gash definitely gets affected, yeah. So that's actually cool. I like inflicting injuries with this sword. That's what I was doing before. Um, so I'm actually glad that we have that. This is a different mastery. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for letting me know. I just I, I just assumed this thing was a sword because it looks so much like a sword. Um, but I get it. You know, you cleave through enemies or whatever. It's like the, the method by which you deliver the damage is indeed cleaving. That makes sense. Though it's not directly a butcher's cleaver. You know, if, if only the Butcher's Cleaver was the, the only cleaver weapon, it would be a bad weapon class. So, I understand, definitely. Okay. Yeah, this is these are selling for good money here. I was going to sell them elsewhere, but this is, like, good good money. Like, over 500 and stuff. I think I'm just going to sell them here. 
I, like, I, it's, it's a lot of profit. Yeah, everything sells for, like, a lot. This seems fine. This seems fine. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, we just, we just made so much money, yo. That was an incredible amount of wealth. Maybe I should have... No, no, ambush trade routes makes them pay more, right? Um, like, I, I think this makes... I, from that video you, you shared yesterday, Lucy, I think this makes them pay more for, for my goods when, when they're ambushed. They sell for higher, but they buy for higher, too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, drink up. What are these contracts? Uh, looking rather bugged when you enter the room. He states that Gimishtat used to have good relations with the barbarians. But I suppose I was fooling myself to think we'd stay on even terms with those savages. Excuse me, hiccup. He states they've been attacking caravans, murdering travelers, and attacking homesteads. So I'll treat them in kind, go west to here, and slaughter their whole village. You keen on to doing that? That's, it's, like, really mean, but okay. Just the, the whole village part is a little graphic. Let me, let me think about it. What's this one? Uh, Trade Master's been looking for you. He wants me to deliver some stuff to, uh, to Wagenheim. Okay. How much you pay me? Not much, but let's see. We will, we will think about it, because where's Wagenheim? Is that, is that, yeah. We'll do that after we do this one, because we sold all our goods, so we don't need to go through the north anymore. I guess there could still be, nah, there's probably not going to be anything I want to buy from, like, these, this is, like, a big city, and these are, like, they're, they're basic. They don't have stuff. They're not, like, a, a forest city they're, that it's going to have wood or something, so... We'll, we'll take the, the big contract to, to kill people, and then we'll take the other one to go back south. And we'll start working our way back to the desert now. Made a lot of money off this. Lots of money and um, EXP. You know, I'm okay, I'm okay with our time up north here. Okay, I'm a little worried about this. Barbarians are scary. They, they hit hard. I did kill barbarians one time, and then I got a free barbarian at the end. So I'll take that. If that happens, that could be cool. But um, I, am, I am a little worried. I don't know how many we're going to fight. Found the barbarians moseying about their village. It's mostly tents and impromptu snow houses. Elderly women sit in a circle weaving baskets, and younger, younger women are making arrows while throwing glances at the burly men walking around. The men themselves pretend they don't care, but, but you know a peacock in action when you see it. There are also children hurrying to and fro with this uh, this task or that. And just outside the village stands a series of wooden stakes impaling naked corpses from butt to mouth, and their chest, and their chest uh, cavities have been spread apart uh, like butterfly wings. That's disgusting. The inside draped down like like loosened embroidering. Horrid, Yazid Shieldtank says. You nod, it is, but that's why you're here. Yeah, I agree. Very disgusting. Increased buy sell prices and less items. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's that's why they were paying so much. That's that's awesome. That's that's awesome for me. Okay, mini brigand thall, thralls. Mini barbarian thralls. I can't read. I didn't even read it. I, that's that's fine. I was worried there were going to be reavers. Thralls are okay. Um, they're not they're not super easy or anything, but the reavers are the ones that terrify me. I've been one shot many a time by a reaver, so um, I say many a time, not really, but I've been one shot a few times by a reaver. At least once it's happened, uh, and it's just it's they they spook me for that reason. I'm I'm afraid of them. But the thralls are, are easier to kill. They're they're lower tier enemies. This guy walked up and switched to his ranged weapon. I can't say I uh, would suggest doing that. I can't say that I think that's a good idea. That, that is not my, my, my best. I don't think that's his, his best decision. Um, and I'll just kill this man. Let's go. It actually worked. I was, I was a little hopeful when I said that. I didn't think it was actually going to kill him. Um, I spear walled with you, and then I'm stepping in to like take all the ground. Like The spear wall was useless, it seems. I, I don't think I should have used spear wall there. We're pushing through the enemies really quickly, so it was it was not needed. We're, we don't really need to slow this fight down. If I this is a weird one. If I hook him into a spear wall, does it trigger? I'll try. I can't imagine it would. That seems OP. Okay, well I missed, so it, we we'll never know. But like hooking him into the spear wall and then knocking him back, that seems like 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 cheating. It seems like giga OP. I, I doubt they would let that happen. Maybe it's not as strong as it sounds. Um, maybe Hook doesn't even do damage. If Hook doesn't do damage, that's actually bad. Uh, maybe maybe my, my initial plan there is, is terrible. Dang it. I missed. Can't be missing. We gotta, we gotta kill the barbarians quick. We gotta, we gotta push through them. Speed, speed will be my ally here. Slowing down will, will kill me. I think I can go here and get an attack. No, not really. Whatever. 6%. Didn't work at all. I didn't reload. I just ended his turn. I'm so dumb. 
I've rarely ever used hook. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't seem to be that good if it doesn't do damage. And I'm thinking about it. I don't think it does damage. We used repel a few times though. Yeah, repel I like. Repel I like. Pushing enemies back seems to be like pretty pretty good. Like a very solid use of your time. Um, but hook maybe is less less good. I'm just gonna block. This guy's gonna take some hits, so I'll just block. There's nothing I can do to stop him from taking hits next turn, so I think I think blocking there is for the best. This weapon seems scarier. I'm not sure if it is, but it seems scarier. I will I will attack him first. Okay, we got that kill. Let's go. So the block's not as necessary. Well, we blocked both hits, though. It worked out. It worked out. I don't think I could have one-shot this guy anyways, so I think I think blocking was the best. First time chatter from Mantis. Hook is great if you need to kill high-priority uh, enemies. Uh, high pri kill high-priority enemy fast. Okay, okay. So if they've formed a line and there's just like... And you're, you don't want to push into their line. You can maybe hook them in, you know, into your line, essentially. I could see that. I could see that. I'm sure I'm sure I'll, you know, find value eventually in it. There will, there will be a time when hook is great. If I continue at least using bull arms. I will, I will find a, a day where hook goes really hard. But I hope you're doing well today, Mantis. Welcome on into the chat room. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're well today. Big swing. I missed. Dang it. All right. I'm shocked this guy's morale isn't broken. He's got he's got the resolve of champion. I mean, he's, I think the barbarians tend to have high resolve. Maybe I'm wrong, but that seems like something they would have. You know, just just seems right. It feels feels like that could be true. Okay, he should go down though. It's just it's just one dude. It is one enemy versus all my people. Don't kill me, man. I'm scared now. Double bleed is a little spooky. So we gotta kill him quick. Mm, it's a low shot, but why not? It's not hitting my dudes. Okay, kill him, please. Okay, let's go, let's go. I didn't want my guy bleeding to death. All right, we got a level off of it. Any loot? Yeah, we got, we got this, that's fine. Oh, and some gems, that's fine. Got a little cash too, but whatever. These two are good though. Those are, those are worth like a fair bit. And how full is my stash? 57. Plenty of plenty of room in the stash. Got plenty of room in the stash. All right, so let's head back. This was this was a great trip up north. I would describe this as a very successful northern northern journey. Um, so let's let's move back south. Let's let's move on south. Wait, I, I, I want to go back. I want to finish my my ambition. Um, you know, wait, what is this? Some fighting dudes? I didn't realize that. I just clicked through that. I thought that was like the uh, the game being like you made it and they paid you. Did, did I anger 12 more barbarians for killing the town? Or did I did I walk into them just now? I was not paying any attention. I might have just walked into a huge group of barbarians. Um, I didn't read that at all. I literally just assumed it was the game being like, here's your money. I, I should have maybe paid attention. That seems bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just like go in. We're gonna we're gonna try like, you know, just get the like alpha strike. Break their will, kill a lot of them before they can do any damage. Because um, there's a lot of dudes, but they're not super well geared, so I, I think this is for the best. And I'm gonna try to hold the high ground. I'm gonna move my guys up to hold these three tiles. That seems that seems important. I've been told high ground matters a lot. I don't know exactly what the the stat changes are, but I've been told it's it's rather valuable. So I'm just gonna block. This guy seems like he's gonna take some heat, so I'm just gonna block. We'll sit here. All space in case he walks up. This guy might need to attack again later. Uh, I think I'm gonna block as well with this guy. Just, just to you know, we're not we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything that needs you know. We're not gonna kill him this turn or anything. So, well, that guy doesn't have a shield. Can't block with him. Okay, the spear wall is putting in work. They're just wiggling around. One spear wall just took like like four dudes turns away from him. That was that was amazing. That was lovely. Spear wall is really good, man. Spear wall is such a good skill. Just because of how it causes the AI to act. And even when they, they're like the ghouls and they push into you or whatever, it's still so good. Yeah, they're, they're trying to move around my, my my position or whatever. That's okay. They're spending so much time moving that it's letting me do, do damage to them while they're just uh, like, you know, finessing the battlefield. I feel like they're doing a lot of moving though. When's it my turn, man? I feel like you got more, more than one turn. Like you got to go more than me. That's not true, of course. They didn't. It just I don't know. There's just a lot of dudes. Okay, and I wanna I wanna shoot at this guy. 
Um, just, yeah, just to protect my, my other crossbowmen there. Mm, I'll just skip in case they step up. I'm going to move my crossbowmen back to this high ground and then fire from there. Let's go. Let's go. Axe man, just kill him, please. Didn't even hit him. Didn't even hit him. You hate to see it. Um, I'll move you here. Let's go for a stab. Did you kill? No, no, no. That's fine, though. And this shield guy, I'm just gonna, like, ignore. I want him to just, like, have his morale broken. So I, I don't have to deal with, with like, the shield itself. I just, I just want him to be sad and give up. Would you get confident your bros won't die? You can start naming bros after chat. I already have, actually. If you, if you would like to be in the game, let me know. Um, Rage is already... We already have one dude named. Um, and on some other playthroughs, we named other people, too. So it's just, just if anyone here in chat wants to join, let me know. You, you may yet die, but... Um, you are, you are free to join. Oh, I didn't. I, I was saving the stamina in case they walked up. I forgot. Okay, this was this was fine. This was fine. 12, 12, 12 enemies, and it was not a problem. I'm feeling like my guys are getting pretty like good. You know, like they're they're leveling up to a decent amount. They're getting good gear and stuff. Like I, I feel confident in the, the like the. The life my bros have. I should have just attacked this guy. I'll attack this guy, though. Move in on him. But, like, I, I'm pretty happy with this playthrough so far. What are dice going to be? A, a backliner pole, ar uh, pole armor or something? Yeah, I, I can make... I can I can name you someone that's likely to live. Do you want to be, like, my archer? Uh, Zawa here, I think, has been in the game since the beginning of the game. Uh, like, since the, the beginning of this run. And they've, they've made it the whole time. I tend to, the archers tend to be the safest. I, I, I keep them, you know, well protected. So if, if you want to, if you want to be a bro that's likely not to die, that would, that's probably your best bet. But if you do want to be a pole arm in particular, let me know. I could happily make you a dude with a pole arm. That is totally fine. I was hoping by killing him, I would break the morale of this guy. I was hoping to like, you know, inadvertently damage that one essentially, but he didn't have his morale broken. Maybe we can just stab him, break his morale that way. Yeah, it worked. Turns out stabbing him is a good way to break his morale, too. There is a lot, so I can be the archer. Let's go! Perfect, perfect. All right. We can't hit him, but we're just moving over. This is the last enemy. Okay, he's just running away. There's one more enemy somewhere? Oh, it's this guy that we were just attacking. I, my brain's broken. Okay, I'm just going to end the round. He will run away. I'm not going to chase him down. He's gone. He's gone. That is fine by me. Okay, it's over. So you will, you will be Zawa here. Zawa here will now be real uh, PSO Jed. And am I saying that right? PSO Jed? When I say the second half of your name, is that even how you're supposed to say it? For the battle. Wait, was that for 1800 bucks? Hold up, let me read this. Why am I getting so much money? I don't think I, I took a contract for two grand. Savage Driven from Gimmin uh, from Gimmin Shat? Gimmin, 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 Gimmin Shat? Gimmin Shat? I don't know how to say it. Gimmin, Gimmin, sh yeah, I don't know, whatever. Despite the results, it takes time for the villagers to emerge and see the victory in full. Warwick the treasure eventually comes out clapping and hollering. There's a retinue of, of sheepish lieutenants looking around, and their knees muddied, stray straws and clods of earth all over them. It appears they were hiding. Well done, Selsword, well done. The old gods surely, uh, the old gods surely all of that, and your reward in good time. Uh, you sheathe your sword and not at the man's useless you lieutenants. Maybe you better do it first anyways. The old gods would surely appreciate you acting on your... You acting... You're acting on their behalf, given that others, shall we say, could not. The man purses his lips and glances at his lieutenants who glance away. Your employer smiles and nods. Of course, of course, Selsword. I understand you well. You should be paid in full and then some. All well earned, truly. Okay, so this... We, we did... I guess the, the barbarians attacked the village. And because we fought that off, we, we got... um. We got an extra, like, a thousand bucks or whatever? Because, again, I don't think that was a, a two grand, like, contract. I've never had that happen before. Let's go. And you are no longer Zawahir. You are a real PGO. Or PSO. I don't know why I said PGO. All right. And you will you will survive. You will survive a long time. And, yeah, we're all pogged because we've been doing well. Now everyone's, like, super happy. Call him hard. Did you, don't, uh, you, if you want to join, you totally can. You, everyone is welcome. If you want to, if you want to join on in, I will name someone hard Dota for you. Is there just contracts where if you do well or quickly, you might get a lot more reward? I didn't know that. That's cool. All right, Ludloff. Ludloff, I was, I was really hoping, I was really hoping you would, you would have some, some, some defense going there. 
don't, I don't know what to master or to put love off in for mastery. I'll just go spears, whatever. Whatever, that's fine. Spear it up. Spear mastery it is. That's fine. Okay, and you're, you're fodder. You're going to continue being offense. You're going to continue taking offensive stats, even as you level up. You, you will maintain your, your role as fodder. From now on, stabs faster. Let's go. Yeah, for real. For real. I'm like, now that I know I can, I get, uh, I can get money for doing, doing better, I'm going to start, you know, trying to zoom through all the contracts. Got to min-max them. Okay, and this just wants me to go, like, south, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you have anything to trade? No, I, this is all stuff I sold to you. So the answer is no. I've already, I've already checked. The answer is definitely no. Okay, so let's, let's go. Let's get this contract and get out of here. Where's Wagenheim? There we go, just down here. Um, so where this is so much money. I've never had 9,000 bucks. I've, I've never had anywhere near this much money. This is an incredible amount of wealth, chat. Like, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm truly stunned how wealthy we are right now. Um... I, I wanna I wanna buy someone that's insanely expensive. I wanna buy like a, a champion. Time to spend. I'm trying, man. I'm I'm really trying. There's the, the the spending in this game is sometimes like hard. Sometimes the game doesn't doesn't let you spend your gold. Like there's just nowhere to buy stuff. We gotta we gotta work our way back down south. Cause these the the desert cities they're always large and rich city states, so they often have good good mercenaries to buy there. Um. So I wanna I wanna work my way down there and maybe buy a, a champion of the arena like a gladiator, or um, maybe they'll just have something else that's good. Maybe they'll have a, an adventurous noble or something. Howdy, partner. Give her that gyro. How you do? Or gyro? Is that gyro? Is that how you say gyro? I don't know. But welcome. I think that's gyro. I don't know. Welcome on in. Give her that. Welcome on in. Welcome to the yogurt aisle. Get some fruit and get a bowl and have a nice little snack. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the show today. Giver, are you uh, are you familiar with Battle Bros? Is this a game you know well, or are you just you just watching it for the first time today? Because uh, I don't know it that well, but I would love to explain it to you if you are if you are indeed new. I would love to share a little bit with about the game with you. Okay, and I love these. They cause no 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 increased fatigue, but they give you increased durability. I don't really. I was told these aren't, aren't really worth it. But these are good. Kind of more of a lyric here. Don't have the game, but I have watched streams. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go. Well, that's... I, I, I love my lyricers. That's actually... That reminded me. It's probably a good time. We've been streaming for about two hours. A little under. Um, hello to all the lyricers. If you're here and you're not in chat, if I missed you in chat, or if you're just lurking, what's up? How are you doing? Thank you for being here. Welcome on in. Um, but lurking is more than welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that, Giver. You were, you were welcome to lurk as much as you want. But if you don't want to lurk and you want to chat, that's also fine as well. Yes, we, we finally have a lurk command. It has a very slow, slow rolling, um, slow rolling BTTV emote attached to it that I find to be really funny. Um, and this stuff is cheap again. We're buying it. We're buying and selling. We're pretty much a trade caravan. We're not even like mercenaries at this point. I go town to town looking for stuff to buy, for goods to purchase. Okay, and what is this contract? Is it by chance going south? No, I don't want to do this. This is this is the dream eaters. This is this, it's too scary. Um, oh, and I, I, you, I was told maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Um, so yeah, I don't want to fight them. Last time I fought three of them. It was off stream. I fought three of them and they like ate me alive, dude. I lost like three people. I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. It's, it's too scary. So I'm just going to send it. And we'll, we'll, we'll check all these cities just as we did on the way up. We'll check them on the way down. Um, maybe to sell stuff to them, but it's most likely to, because they're small cities, it's most likely to buy stuff off of them. You want to buy from the small cities that produce goods and sell to the expensive cities that, that don't produce goods. Um, sure, we'll get some wine. My, my, my dudes will probably enjoy drinking some wine. Maybe we could even sell it for a profit. Because it's kind of cheap. This is this is pretty pretty cheap for wine. Okay, yeah, I can sell this for a little profit right now. I'd rather sell it farther south. I think I could get more money than that. What is this contract? Give me something in the treasure and give me a chance about a day north of here. Eh, how much money do you want to pay me? Because it's north. I don't really want to go north. I got to stop doing that. That's such a habit. For, for like, as contracts that I don't care about, I shouldn't do that. If, it, if it's hitting my reputation. Uh, hmm. How much? It's a day north for 500 bucks. We'll do it. Because it's, you know, I want to move south, but this is, this is fine. Look at the retinue. I'm not going to do that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go back up to Gimmenschnatch where we started from. 
It, sh it should be, you know, all positive, though. We should be making money for doing this. Um, and how close are we to doing royal contracts? That'll help a lot. 922. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. But so we're we're not quite making it to the south. This is as much as I wanted, it seems. We're, we're still pretty northern, but that's okay. We'll make it back down south eventually. And if I loop through here enough, the stuff will restock. I could get more copper and stuff to sell down south. Um, and if we, you know, if we if we have enough money, I, I would really love to buy a famed item. I would love a legendary item. I've never had one before. Seven brigand hunters. If they want to fight me, they can fight me. I'm not going to chase after them, though. Um, I just want to, you know, I want to move through these contracts a little quicker. I don't want to do the combat. I just want to, you know, trade, buy and sell. Yeah, cheap stuff. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Do you want to buy my wine by chance for like a huge amount? You'll pay me profits, but not a huge amount. So I will leave it there. We will, we will go from there. Oh, and I should put that that stuff on my armor. To, to make my armor a little better. Someone, someone with good armor that's not already like enchanted. Not already like buffed up. Maybe, do you? Yeah, you, you have stuff that's already on there. Um, you don't have anything. I want, I want a lighter armor that, that I could buff up because I want something with like low fatigue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna get this. Where is it? I have too much stuff in here, man. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. So it, this is gonna go from one 105 armor to 115, but it doesn't make it like any any heavier to use. So this guy's not weighed down anymore. Um, I think we have another armor here. Yeah, this one. This one's like it, it's super heavy. It was 170, and we made it 180. Without, without making it any heavier. But um, I, th I think upgrading the more moderate ones with plus 10 might be the, the way to go. Because plus 10 on an armor that gives 200 isn't a big deal. But plus 10 on an armor that gives like 90, that could be a huge deal. Um, so I think the, the plus 10s might be better on lighter armor. I was thinking about that. I initially put it on my super tank, which is also fine. But I think it might be better on lighter armor. And I really wish they had a 3x speed. That's, that's like my only complaint. I just, I want a, a faster game speed. What is this contract? Should I go to Thrun, uh, leaving soon? Three days. Let's go. That's perfect. That's what, that's, this is what I want to do. Um, need more pay. So this won't affect my, my, my reputation. Doing this would, but not this, it seems. So it's 16 per head, 940 when it's done. What is it now? None per head, but 1260. That's perfect. Cause I don't want to do combat. I would, I would prefer if there wasn't combat. So that, that's perfect. This is, this is a more guaranteed payout. Okay, nothing here. Maybe a good weapon, though? Nah. I mean, there's good weapons, but I'm just looking for a, a shiny one. So, there's no one to hire. It's a small town. There's no shot. There's actually some dudes here. There's, like, a, a deserter. I guess this, city, this is, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a decent-sized town. Okay, let's have a drink. Let's get out of here. Let's go head on south. And the game auto-paths auto, auto paths you. I don't get to choose where we're moving during a caravan. The old caravans go without you. They just they just do what they want to do. They don't ask you what you want to do. We'll check Wagenheim. It's only been a day, but maybe there's new stuff here to buy. Nope, that's to be expected. Um, that's such a good trick. I'm so glad Chat told me about that. You can you can still shop with towns if your caravan goes through them. Because you can't stop like normally, like I, or I didn't think you could. This is 10 goblins. That's a lot of goblins, dude. I don't know about this, man. The goblins are really spooky. They're they're like they're very threatening. Um, I, I haven't I haven't come up with a good plan for how to kill them. They're very like dodgy. They they move in and out like a lot. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too bad though. I think I think the idea is going to be the same as the barbarians. I just wanna I wanna overwhelm them with force. I want to just slaughter as many as possible before they can do anything to me. Start working, working their morale down and stuff. I don't know. I was just shooting. I didn't want to hit my guy, so I just shot like someone at random, essentially there. I thought you could spear wall from there. I'll move you back one then. I thought you had enough for spear wall. Now that I realize you don't, I don't want you that far forward. Smack him. Dang it! I was really open that hit. Okay, we gotta we gotta worry about these guys up here. I want to move this guy right there though, because he can do the flamethrower. So I'll move this guy right here. Um, we'll just we'll just stall that one out. We'll just stall that one out for sure. That's okay. Um, I'll move you in here just to start smoothing up, smoothing my people on up. Okay, didn't do much damage. That's all right though. Um, you'll just go here. Sure, 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 sure. And the caravan hands don't do anything. They suck. 
They're terrible. They they could do something, but they rarely do. They they tend to just stand there and protect the the donkeys, which is sometimes okay, but they're they're pretty useless. The southern caravan hands, though. Chat told me they are good, and I agree. The southern caravan hands are sometimes they're called conscripts even, and they're really good. They are they are not um just like you know they're not just dragging goods down the road. They're actual fighters. Um, they are they are very potent. All right, they netted me. They're, they'll, they'll run out of nets eventually, though. They can't net me forever. That's so, so many dudes are netted right now. The, getting netted is just annoying. It's just, like, toxic. Um. Rage, how good are your melee stats? Not amazing. I'll use your turn to try to free. Let's go. Freed, freed up my boy here, Yazid. Yazid? Yazid? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll just stab you. I should have done my, my initiative thing. That well, juggler can be an okay bro to, uh, to be a dodge duelist. Also has plus five chance to hit the head. Okay. I knew about the plus five uh, head chance. Um, Cause I was, I was, I was thinking, uh, we were talking about um, male or head, head focused bros yesterday, like flail dudes. Um, do they, do they come with, with a lot of initiative normally? The, the duelists? That wouldn't shock me. That would make sense. Um, and I, I could try to free these guys, but I think I want to go for the attack. It's 50%. Okay, we got a kill with it. When we missed the first arrow, I didn't think we were getting a kill. That worked out really well. All right. Uh, you got to free yourself. Okay, you freed yourself. Uh, just try to free your homie. Didn't work as well. That's all right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I really want this guy freed. Okay, let's go. Um, this 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 guy is really good. Amira is very good. They, they, they're good on offense and defense, so freeing them is a big deal. They're, they're a big part of the team. Let's go. Another kill. Every every kill adds up. It just breaks their morale. You know, it makes it makes them worse and makes me, you know, have less threat. Every kill is good. We'll start focusing on the uh, the, the uh, archer back there. Just moving on into their back line. Gnoblins, gnoblins. Yes, little gnoblins. And the goblins are tough in this game. I like that a lot. No, most of the time, goblins are like, you know tier one enemy that you kill like a thousand of um you just mow through a million of them they're smart little buggers they're they're annoying they poison you they kite back um i really i really appreciate the goblins in this game for for how like annoying they are like i i hate them when normally you know it's just like ah whatever there's a bunch of goblins i'll cast fireball and kill all of them at once um, the goblins in this game are potent threats it was me, an dodge duelist. One of my best friends ever was an excellent, was an axe duelist dodge bro. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll start looking at some some jugglers. Cause I like the idea of doing a um, even if it's maybe not the the best, a a flail build where we focus on hitting him in the head over and over. I think that seems just fun. I shouldn't really be stabbing him. He's gonna flee. I shouldn't. I should have moved this guy forward. I know I'm stabbing with these guys, but that's because of their positioning. Mr. Shrek, have you met their higher level goblins yet? I don't think so. I only only skir skirmishers and um and ambushers I'm pretty sure maybe but probably not I, th I think I've, I've only met these boys that's that sucks to hear there are higher level ones <laughs> you hate to see that I mean it's not shocking but you know you hate to see it this type of bro that can that can be excellent depending on the stat stars are, okay okay maybe maybe I'll put a little more respect on the jugglers if I'm you know if we need a bro and there's a juggler there that's like you know a good price maybe I'll buy one all right, this worked out well. For for 10 goblins, this was fine. Again, I'm feeling like this is a really powerful set of dudes. Uh, like, fights that I normally am afraid of, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not struggling with, like, right now. You know, we're, we're like, smoothing on through them. Like, 10 goblins would, would kill a lesser company for sure. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. It's also nice that I can feel my power increasing like that. Like, the, the, my, the change in power is no, noticeable just by how, how smooth the fights become. I appreciate that quite a lot. Can I get to him? Not quite, not quite. We need we need some dogs for, for chasing people down. And just because they're good. The Warhounds seem to be, like, really good at tanking. Probably not versus, like, later game enemies, but early game when they can, like, you know, survive a hit or two, and then as such make it through multiple battles, they seem to be, like, really valuable. It's like two or four hundred bucks and you get like a a mini bro that like doesn't count towards your bro cap that you don't have to like worry about as much. Like if they die, it's like who cares? They're, they're like fodder but better. 
I appreciate the, the dogs a lot. We saw a kennel earlier. I just decided not to, to buy any. Which was a regrettable decision. All right, let's go. We are done. This this enemy will flee. Yes, yes, let's go. Hey, everybody. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.